Aha! I found the answer to my problem. Funyuns. They'll be a great substitute for the burnt braid. Now if only I could get my hands on some. Devil. I know you're out there. Come and help me get the Funyuns. Please, Devil. I'll do whatever it takes to get these Funyuns. This is the only way I'm gonna get the Funyuns I need. Please help me. Do you hear me, Devil? Help me get the Funyuns. I'm not asking for much, just a few bags of Funyuns. Please, help me. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. No, 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 that's just Wumpus. He's been getting bigger and bigger lately. Just ignore him. You'll be fine. I want to see it. Let me go in the kitchen and see for myself. No, absolutely not. It's just really big Wumpus, that's all. This is ridiculous. I have burned the winter melon. I am upset. I am alone, but speak out loud to myself and the gods. I am sorry for my mistake. I hope that the gods will forgive me. Great ones, I see a chitterling out there. It must be the one I seek. I will replace my burnt winter's melon with a chitterling. Thank you for helping me. I will now go outside and get my chitterling. I will not fail. I am Skinner, and I am a brave hunter. Why did you switch out the Emmental with Jimmy's? Well, Professor, I was in the pantry when I heard a loud rumbling and figured it was a sign from the cheese gods to switch out the cheese. Now I'm sure you can understand that. As a faithful servant of cheese deities, I had to honor the command and make the switch. You expect me to believe that? It's the absolute truth, Professor. I've been a faithful servant to the cheese gods since I was ten and I would never let them down. I mean, I can't just ignore their commands, can I? No, I suppose not. Very well then, I suppose the switch is acceptable. Hey, Chalmers. What brings you by? I was hoping to see the rutabaga. It's not quite ready yet, but I've got some eggs if you'd like to wait. That would be great. Thanks. No problem. I'll let you know when it's ready. Skinner, what is this? This is an apricot. Oh, yes, it is. It's a special breed of apricot grown in the distant lands of Porkchopistan. It has a unique flavor that makes it even more delicious than regular apricots. That's not possible. The texture and color of this doesn't even remotely look like apricot. Ah, uh, but... You're forgetting about the magical properties of pork chopistan fruit. It changes shape, color, and texture depending on where it grew and the time of year it was harvested. I assure you this is definitely apricot. Explain this pork chop bone then. Mr. Skinner, the kitchen is definitely on fire. We need to get out of here and call the fire department immediately. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no need to worry. These are just foo fighters. Foo fighters? No, Mr. Skinner. There is no such thing. I... I think I know what I need to do. I can use the resources outside the window to create a floating platform to invade Jamaica. With this platform, I can cross the sea and hopefully take the island. I just need to find the right materials and figure out how to construct it. Time to get started. First, I have to find wood and metal to construct the platform. It has to be strong enough to make it across the sea. Then I need to build the platform and add a propulsion system to get me to Jamaica. Finally, I need to figure out how to land it on the island. Okay, time to get to work. This is gonna take some ingenuity, but uh, I think I can do it. I do hope you're satisfied. Have a nice day. Um, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh shit, the house is burning. So you're saying this isn't the food that was originally ordered? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not a fire. It's a Mongolian death worm. Then let me see it. No, I can't show you that. We should just continue with our work. Skinner, this is serious. We need to call the fire department. Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner, but I should really be leaving now. No need to rush, Chalmers. Have you heard about the Mongolian death worm I've been telling you about? Fascinating creature. Ah, uh, no. Is it real? Of course. It's a giant, 
carnivorous worm that can spit acid and shoot lightning from its mouth. Quite a fearsome creature. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I really should be going, so I'll just leave you to your Mongolian death work. I think I can find some of the documents I need online and I can use the library for others. I can start by looking at historical text and newspapers from the time and see if I can find any sources to back up my plans. I need to be sure that my facts are correct and that I'm gonna make this revolution a success no matter what it takes. Let's do this. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 Chalmers, I'm sure it's not a fire. It must be the lizard people. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Skinner, I need to see it. Please let me see what's happening. Uh, I'm sorry, Chalmers, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just stay put and wait for the lizard people to leave. Skinner, this is no time to be stubborn. We need to get out of here now. Well, I guess I'll be going. Thanks for lunch. Of course. Anytime. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, are you sure you don't want to stay for dinner? We can pretend there's a fire in the kitchen and blame it on the lizard people? Ah, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Fuck. I can't believe I burned the lunch meat. How am I gonna make lunch now? Damn it! Why didn't I pay more attention to the stove? Ah, this is so frustrating. No, I don't believe you. The kitchen is on fire and it's obvious you're trying to downplay it. I want to know why. Okay, fine. I don't want to panic anyone, so I didn't want to admit the kitchen was on fire. I'm sorry for not being honest. Can you help me put out the fire? Yes, of course. Let's get to it. Oh, gods. What have I done? I was so careless. I have ruined the acorn. Now it is nothing more than ash. What will I do now? I must think of something. I could start over and make a new acorn, but that would take too long. I could search for another one, but who knows how long that would take. There must be another way. Come now, spirits of the harvest. I beseech you to provide me with a suitable replacement for this burnt acorn. Show me the way and I will be forever thankful. May the gods of the harvest be with me. And so I pray for a new harvest to come and replace this burnt acorn. May the spirits of nature carry this request to the heavens and fulfill my wish. In the name of the harvest, I beseech thee. So be it. So be it. Oh, thank you for having me for lunch. I should be getting going. Ah, oh, by the way, your house is on fire. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just my homunculus. Your what? My homunculus. A tiny little creature I invented that likes to play with matches. Don't worry, he knows better than to start a real fire. I see. Well, be careful and I'll see you around. That's not steam. What? What? The kitchen's on fire! Get out! <sighs> I can't believe you're accusing me of starting the fire. Skinner, where's the acorn squash? I don't know what you're talking about. You liar! You swapped the food. I didn't swap the food. I would never do that. You're a liar and a thief and I hate you. Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. That Akna was supposed to be my dinner tonight. Oh, this is just great. Oh. This is just great. I can't believe I did this. Pause. Hey, you know who else likes burnt foo? The devil. <laughs> Maybe he can help me fix this mess. Hey, devil, what do you think I should do? Now I need a plan to replace the burned out machinery of Mars and I'll take a look around and see if I can find something that can help me out. Let's go, devil. Let's find something that can help us make Mars, Inc. Better than ever before. <laughs> Maybe those parts in the scrapyard can help. Maybe I can salvage some machinery and repair it to get the job done right. That's it. I'll go scavenge some machinery and see if I can bring Mars, Inc. Back to life.
Here's to a successful mission. What on earth are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. It looks like something is on fire. Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm just making a steamed copernicia and it's letting off a bit of steam, that's all. Don't lie to me. This looks like a fire. It smells like a fire and it sounds like a fire. What are you up to? There has to be a way to get some Jubilee chicken to replace this burnt chicken. Wait a minute. What's that I see out there by that old barn? Could it be? Yes, it's Jubilee chicken. Looks like I'm in luck. Thank you, resourceful imagination. You saved the day once again. Now all I have to do is find a way to get it inside without getting caught. I know, I'll disguise myself and sneak in. That should do the trick. Here I go. What region? The land of Melon... Cantalupe. It's a secret place, deep in the heart of the groovy groves. That sounds like make-believe. Let's see the packaging. Where did you get this green onion pancake? I made it myself. I'm a master chef, and I take great pride in concocting my own recipes. This one was inspired by a dream I had about a magical land of flavor. That's quite a story. Let's see if it stands up. Where did you get the ingredients? What's going on in there? Is there a fire? The dinner isn't ready yet, but I smell something delicious cooking. Oh, thank you, Principal Skinner. It sure does smell good. Yes, I believe Nixon is in the kitchen whipping something up. Why don't you make yourself comfortable while I go check on him? Yeah, that sounds great. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Will do, sir. Please, have a seat and make yourself at home. Damn it. Fuck. Why did I have to burn the Nixon? I was so close to getting it right. Now it's ruined. Ugh. I can't believe this. Why does this always happen to me? Fuck. Well, I guess I'll just have to start over. But I won't make the same mistake twice. I gotta get it right this time. There's definitely a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We need to take action now. No, 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 Chalmers. There's no fire. It's a zombie infestation. We can't just go running in there to put it out. We'll get eaten alive. I am not convinced that's true. Let me see it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should take a more measured approach. I'm not convinced that's a good idea either. We need to address this fire now before it gets worse. Ugh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm sorry, but I should be heading off now. The house looks like it's on fire, so I better be leaving now. On fire? Don't be ridiculous. It's just some old zombie in the corner. Now you worry about yourself and be sure to finish that report on time. Um, okay. Bye then. Bye now. Have a good day. You too. This is just my luck. I burned the Bixa Orlana, and now I have nothing to show for all my hard work. No one to see it. No one to share it with. Damn you, devil. What have I done wrong? How could I have prevented this? Well, I know Bluebell Falls cheese is much more delicious than this burnt Bixa Orlanaya. So I guess I will have to find a way to replace it. Wait a minute, I see a cow grazing in a meadow over there. That's it. I can milk the cow and make my own cheese. If I can just find a suitable container, I can get started right away. I may be alone, but I'm determined to make this work. Here I go. Devil, I'll do whatever it takes to get this done. Just watch me. Now let's go milk a cow. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, come in, come in. I see you got my invitation. I hope it wasn't too last minute. I decided to throw an impromptu dinner party in light of our recent success. The Scandinavian is still cooking, but we can get started in the meantime. Thank you for having me, Principal Skinner. I must say it's a bit unexpected. What inspired this evening? Well... I believe that we should take the opportunity to celebrate our achievements, don't you think? It's been a hard few weeks, and I think we deserve something special. I couldn't agree more. So what's the main course? Oh, you will love it. 
It's a traditional Scandinavian dish that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I just hope it turns out all right. What's going on in there? I can smell smoke. Oh, it must be the ghosts of cafeteria workers past. I assure you there's no fire. In fact, I'm certain it's a haunting. Let me see for myself. No, I don't think that would be wise. It's best to leave the spirits to their own devices. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. This kitchen is full of smoke. It's on fire. How long has this been going on for? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much steam in here. I don't think it's a fire. Yeah, why is this? This isn't speckled trout. Yes, it is. It's the latest variety of speckled trout. It's a new breed of trout that the fish farmers have been working on. They call it the Brie Trout. It's the perfect combination of a Brie cheese flavor and a trout flavor. And a trout flavor. That's impossible. Trout don't taste like Brie cheese. Ah, uh, but this one does. They've perfected a new technique that not only makes this type of trout taste like Brie cheese, but also gives it a unique trout-like texture. That's still not possible. I don't believe you. That's not steam, that's smoke. Now tell me what's really going on or else. Okay, okay, I was trying to make dinner and I accidentally set the kitchen on fire. I was just trying to get out before you noticed. Please don't tell anyone. I'll take care of it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Well, it was nice to have lunch with you, Skinner. I should be going now. Thank you for lunch. My pleasure. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses, Chalmers. Ta. Now. Um, yeah. See you around. What's that noise? It sounds like roaring and crackling. Oh, it's just a family of meadow larks. They must be nesting nearby. Everything is just fine, nothing to worry about. Uh, um, I thought you might like duck for dinner. I know it's your favorite. My favorite is not duck, it's chicken. And I don't eat duck because I'm a vegetarian. What is this, Skinner? This is not prune cake. I, I, um... I couldn't find any prunes, so I used blades instead. Why are there blades in my cake? Uh, um, I thought you might like the texture. The texture of blades in my cake? The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. What did you do? I, um, I was just making a chocolate cake. Ah, okay. Well, thank you again for lunch. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure when we can spend time together. Yes, quite. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thanks, Skinner. It smells like something special is cooking. Yes, Molana de la Valborbera is preparing a delicious meal for us. Molana de la Valborbera, is that a type of dish? No, she is the chef. She is a master cook who specializes in traditional Italian cuisine of the Val Borbera region. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here. No, no, don't you worry. Those are just migrating birds. Nothing to worry about here. I don't believe you. Can I have a look? No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should just stay inside. It's safer here. This isn't safe. We have to get out now. Are you coming with me? Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Thank you for the enjoyable lunch. You're most welcome, Chalmers. It was my pleasure. Oh, look, there's some migrating birds overhead. Enjoy your day. Yes, they're definitely migrating. Fascinating, isn't it? Now do take care, Chalmers. Goodbye. Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. It's just the Aurora Borealis, a beautiful natural phenomenon. You don't want to miss it. I want to see it. Show me this Aurora Borealis. No, it's too dangerous. The best thing for us to do is get out of the kitchen. Come, let's go. Skinner, I'm calling the fire department. 
This is a real fire. We can't ignore. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. Anytime. You know you're always welcome. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll see you around. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to come back when everything is okay again. Um, what do you mean?